Okay, so here we have a ball door. It's a one and a half horsepower motor. We're gonna be doing a resistance test to ground. We'll set the meter here. As you can see, I've got it on the resistance mode. So we're gonna go ahead and put the black lead on the green conductor here, which is that insulation is stripped back, so it's a good connection. Uh, and we're gonna start reading these windings to the ground or the frame of the motor, if you will. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, as you can see, we're reading 294,000 ohms to ground here on this first set. We'll go ahead and switch up to the next set here. And we're reading 295.4. It should be all about the same. Uh, this third set, 3, 295, 294, 294,000 ohms to ground. So this motor is reading uh, a high resistance shorted to ground here uh, to this motor frame through the windings. As you can see here, we're just showing, verifying that we have resistance uh, to the shaft to the green grounding conductor, which we do. So now we're going to jump <clears throat> up here into the uh, insulation test. We're going to put this on 500 volts, leave the black lead on the green conductor. Put the red lead on the first set, push the test button. <clears throat> As you can see, we're at about 5.3 thousand ohms. That's not good. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and move up to the next set. They should all be about the same. Push the test button. 5.3 thousand ohms. Yeah, this, uh, Motor is looking not to be good right now. It's reading bad. Next, the last set here, uh, roughly 5.3 thousand ohms, looks like. So, yeah, this motor is bad. We'll go ahead and, uh, as you can see, the windings are compromised. So, uh, this motor is bad. Okay, so now what I want to do is check the power cord on this here motor. We're going to leave the meter on resistance. We went ahead and put the black lead on the grounding conductor here. <clears throat> Just going to verify if this cord's good and uh, see what the readings are. Now. So I got the black lead as we said on the green conductor, and we'll go ahead and put this red lead on the first conductor with red wire, and we are reading. Roughly nine or seven hundred ninety seven ohm thousand ohms to ground. Normally you want to see OL uh, or a high resistance of so six hundred and seventy two, seventy four thousand ohms. Not good, not good. Uh seven hundred and nine ten thousand ohms to ground. So we are getting us a, a pretty high resistance. Uh, from the ground conductor. <clears throat> so now we're going to go ahead and read uh, between the black. As you can see, we're reading six, 603, 5,000 ohms between the two <clears throat> power leads, the red and the black. Uh, the other two, 400,000 ohms, roughly. And the last set here in between the two power, looks like it'd be black and red or, yeah. So this cord, the insulation is uh, seen better days. This cord's bad, it's on its way out for sure. Okay, so here we have a new ball door. I think this is a one and a half horsepower. Uh, bought on motor. We're going to be megging out to compare the difference between the new and the old. Uh, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to, have to put our meter here on continuity. We're going to go ahead and read these leads to ground. Uh, we're going to start with uh, the blue, white, and orange, which would be the one, two, and three. And we have this motor wired for uh, high voltages of right now. 
So we're going to take our black lead here. I had to dig back off the green ground and screw a little bit to get a little better bite with this black lead of the magger. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take our red lead here and we're going to set it on continuity. And we're going to go ahead and read these windings to ground. Now typically you want to see OL, uh, if you're using a regular multimeter, open line or open lead. In our case, we're reading over a thousand. So that's good. That's what you want to see here. So we're going to the next lead. As you can see, we're reading nothing. Uh, a thousand or better. And going to the last conductor here, this motor. And it uh, looks like it's reading over a thousand as well. So we're not reading any kind of uh, resistance to ground on this new motor. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our meter here. We're gonna set it uh, on uh, 500 volts. And we're gonna go ahead and meg the insulation of this here motor and these windings. Uh, basically, we're gonna keep the black lead on the grounding conductor. We're gonna have to put the red lead on the blue conductor here. And basically what we're gonna do is hit the test button and I'm gonna hit the lock button and we're gonna read. As you can see, we're up to uh, oh, well over a hundred gig ohms uh, resistance on these windings here. So excellent, excellent. This is what you wanna see. Uh, this shows this motor is great. Uh, they all should be about the same. We'll go ahead and check them. Move the red lead over to the next wire. Hit the test and lock button and as you can see, we're over a hundred mega ohms, giga ohms. So that's great. We're over a hundred giga ohms. That's awesome. Uh, we're gonna keep on moving over to the next conductor here, and we're gonna hit the test and the lock button, and we are at a hundred giga ohms as well. So guys, this motor is excellent. Uh, it's a brand new motor. I just wanted to compare. Uh, the difference between the old and the new. So let's go ahead, we're gonna check. I'm gonna verify here that we are reading to ground. Uh, should have done this first, but I just wanted to go ahead and, and show you guys it is reading to ground here. Okay guys, so I hope you liked today's video. Go ahead and like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to drop a comment below and we'll catch you on the next one.